and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at Transformers Beast Wars which is celebrating its 25th year and this is from IDW and I think I said it's issue 13 and this is cover B. Now the issues are still being written by Eric Burnham, he is still the lead, however the art for this issue, I'm not sure if it's going to be a continuous thing, has been taken over by Winston Chan, colours by St Sid Ven Blue. I'm pretty sure I said that completely wrong, so I apologize. I hate saying names wrong. And J M Wood is on the letter. So we get a the story so far, and this issue is called the Speedway of Central Consciousness. So you know where this is probably leading already. Uh, so this is the roll call. Um, however, we get a second cheater, and we get a cheat. Wait, what? And cat scan. I have no idea who cat scan is, and I've just read the issue. Um, oh no, maybe I do. So anyway, they are on this battle. However, Cheeto is not fast enough to escape, and gets a bad reaction from the energon. And here is cat scan. <laughs> so um, cat scan is talking to Cheeto, who's already who's woken up, and he has jumped back into the past. However, it is not the past. He is actually in a dream state. And Cat Scan is asking what the T Watts maneuver is. So, moving on, uh, Cheeto then goes to a bar to chill out. Remember, he's a, a young, I guess I always treat him as a, a teenager at this point, um, or adolescent, whatever you want to call it. And they talk about, uh, these guys talk about. Well, you know about proliforms, etc. You're an athlete, etc. So if you think of what sort of questions are being asked by these different characters, they are trying to dig in and find some information. And even about Nynx, and does she know what the t was maneuver is? So Cheeto figures it out that um, this is clearly a dream state. Uh, he's clearly damaged, and he is repairing himself. And... A second Cheeto comes to talk to them. And this Cheeto isn't Cheeto at all. Not at all. This is a creature that is interested in finding out certain information from him. And if he's not willing to give the information, well, you know what? He will use violence to do that. However, Cheeto finds this amusing because even if this creature destroys him, well, he doesn't get the information that he wants. Now, I've been saying since day dot of this series being released that I really hope that the Vok are uh, explored more. And this is probably their first... We've seen glimpses of them in the background, but this is probably their first outing in terms of their experiments. We all know that they like to do experiments, and this is him trying to find out something more. So he's interested in the T Watts maneuver and the protoforms. And he uh he challenges um Cheeto to a race. A race that if Cheeto wins, he will ensure that Cheeto returns back to his body and can carry on the way he was. If he loses, he shares that information willingly. However there's a catch. He turns into Blur and is pretty much Blur and can do everything that Blur can because Blur can talk really, really fast, just like this. That was bonkers. Right, anyway, they start racing. <laughs> racing really, really fast and um, Cheetah's kind of trying to figure out how he can win and he is not willing to lose. Meanwhile, back in the Axelon, Cheetah is fully repaired. His consciousness is not waking up. His spark is strong. He should be up and about. But something is preventing him from changing. And I love the I love the, the artwork on this. Some of these close-ups of the optics and stuff are very, very cool. I've got to say, really enjoying that. Certainly a di different speed. Um, I guess I need to see, because IDW lost the main... They've lost the main Transformers uh, line. So I'm not sure if they've lost this as well. I'll be um, I'll be a bit sad if that's the case because I'm actually really enjoying this piece of wars. However, um, Cheeto wins, um, which is what we thought would happen. 
However, he doesn't really win because the Vok have um, been able to get the details of these poor forms and in tentative experiments. So why he was distracted by trying to figure out the, way, the race and win the race, he left himself open, his mind open. And at the speed that they were going, Blur, A.K. the Vok, wins. And um, but he agrees to release uh, Chiro anyway because he's got the information. And Chiro merely wakes up back online, not from own, not from his own accord, which uh, Rhinox Niger's. He shouts out about the Vok. Um, however, he soon forgets about the Vok which is brilliant and leaving it on this sort of cliffhanger. What is the next step for the Vok? So I find this interesting. I love the Vok. I love them as character, as as um, as sort of villains. I felt like if there was another season, they could have been explored a lot more because they used to come in and come out. And I felt like we just needed that final, what was their agenda? What did they want to achieve? Because they never achieved it. In fact, I went uh, so far, and this is many years ago. I made my own little series with my, with some of my figures back in the day, a story around the Vok. So um, I thought it was amazing in my mind. It was brilliant, and I probably should have written it, written it as a story, rather than do it with toys, perhaps. But um. Hey, it is what it is. I enjoy. I enjoyed that. I'm, I'm pretty sure my my wife didn't enjoy it because it used to take hours to try and do that game. We got a picture of Cat Scan there, which is um, I guess Winston's creation. We got some nice artwork from uh, Trinity Boyd. That's pretty nice. I love the good old mailbox. I keep meaning to write that. I always forget. And then we got some of the other covers. So this is the cover that we got. And that is a very nice cover. R I. I don't know what it is. I seem to these covers aren't very easy to get over in the UK. Or well, they come in after I bought it and I and I thought, well, if I'm buying this, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy lots of variants. I, I do a lot of that with Power Rangers, I buy lots of variants, as you know. But I thought I'm not doing that with this. So um but some of them, if they were being released the same as this, I feel like I would choose them instead. But like I said, they come in a little bit late, so it doesn't happen. Anyway, I hope you like my video. Please support my channel by subscribing. I really appreciate that. Uh, make sure you look after yourself and embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye, folks. Oh.